BAC is building a new parallel runway system. The runway is going to be 3,300 metres long, 60 metres wide. It's going to have parallel taxiway systems as well as linking taxiways to the current existing system so that all the systems can interact with each other. One of the greatest challenges to the successful delivery of a new parallel runway project is the ground preparation works. The ground preparations include two main features fill the entire 360 hectare site to a level that is immune from flooding and future sea level rise. And two, the site has many areas where there's underlying waterlogged in situ soils which need to be consolidated. The variability of the soil conditions across the site is due to the fact that the runway is located in the old Brisbane River Delta. The sections of the site where the old channel used to exist have far greater, deeper, softer areas than areas that might be right beside them that weren't part of the old channel. One of the main treatments we are using to consolidate the land on the new parallel runway site is the installation of 330,000 wick drains. A wick drain is a piece of thin plastic that's inserted into the ground. It's encased in a geofabric sleeve and what it does once it's plunged into the ground is allow the water under the pressure of the soil load to escape in a capillary-like action to the surface and then be drained off to the side of the platform. The wick drain component of this project is the largest wick drain project in Australia ever. Within the space of four months, Yandanal and their subcontractor, Manad Bashi Sawwix Australia, installed over 330,000 individual wick drains. That's a total of over 8 million linear metres. That's further than from here to Beijing, or to put it another way, further than from here to the centre of the earth. Golder Associates, our geotechnical design consultants, developed this unique 3D model. What you can see on this model is differing levels of sand being placed and different densities of wick drains being installed in the softest areas of the site. At the northern end and the southern end and a part of the cross-link taxiways is where the old channel used to meander across the old Brisbane Airport site. That's where the softest areas of the site are, that's where the highest levels of sand have to be placed and the densest amount of wick drains need to be installed in those areas. The cutting of the final wick is a major milestone in the construction of the new parallel runway site. We're really excited that we've reached this milestone ahead of time because it means we're one step closer now to delivering the final product 